What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. We have a very exciting video today. Uh, so if you follow Fluval on uh, social media or if you're subscribed to the newsletter, uh, you'll know that we recently announced uh, a number of conservation partnerships. Uh, so Fluval will be working in 2020 with Shoal, with the Coral Restoration Foundation, and with Oliver Lucanis. So Oliver, first of all, welcome officially to the Fluval team. Uh, we're actually here at Oliver's office with this incredible aquarium behind it. Uh, behind us, excuse me, I could just watch it for hours personally. Uh, so Oliver will be working as the Fluval Conservation Ambassador. Uh, before we get into what exactly that means, Oliver, do you want to tell us and our fans a little bit about yourself? Sure. Uh, I've been importing fish into Canada for over 30 years. Wow. Okay. Uh, I actually know one of your colleagues, Tom Justice Long, back when he was still a manager in the fish oh. store. <laughs> well, well, we went on an expedition with Tom, right? Yes, uh, a couple of years ago we went to Colombia to see some of the most common aquarium fish like cardinal tetras and uh, rummy nose tetras and so on in their natural habitat. Very cool. What else are you working on? Um, I've recently started working at McGill University here in Montreal um, in the remote sensing geography department. So there we've started a project called the Fish and Forest Project. Mm -hmm. And we are trying to look at the habitats of fish and what is happening through them with both climate change and human uh, changes of the land cover and how mm -hmm. that is affecting the fish. We've seen that on the news a lot recently, you know, in Australia and Brazil, things like that. Yes, right? but we don't get to see that with uh, specifically with how it is affecting the fish. Oh, okay. uh, to, to give an example, we, we all know that Madagascar has been almost completely deforested in recent years. Mm -hmm. And there are some protection for the lemurs and for even for some chameleons and other species. Mm -hmm. But the protection uh, to, for example, fish that are endemic that only occur in Madagascar is less than 1% of the habitat. And that's the case throughout the world too. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think that we also need to remember that the people that catch the aquarium fish uh, have a limited number of opportunities and the sustainable collecting of freshwater fish is still one of the ways for them to earn a living that doesn't really affect the habitat that much. Well, okay. So that's a great example of the kind of content that Oliver will be bringing uh, for us to you guys. Um, so if you haven't subscribed to the various uh, Fluval social media channels, if you're not subscribed to the newsletter, now would be a perfect time to do so. The links to all of those will be in the description of this video, as well as the links to all of Oliver's programs. Uh, otherwise, again, thank you, Oliver. Guys, stay tuned. We have some great content coming. Thank you.